Okay, we've got two long, I'm not going to actually work these out, I'm just going to kind of set them up and you can run the numbers yourself later on. Two long parallel wires carry a current of 10 amps in opposite directions. So this is your two long parallel wires. People got hammered on this one. I don't know what was going on. You got, but we drew the picture on the board. But anyway, they are separated by 40 centimeters and they run in opposite directions. We did this problem a, a few times actually. So they're separated by 40. Now, there was a point that's 20 centimeters from one. And so therefore it'd be 60 centimeters from this one. There's where, it, there's where it's sitting. All right, now we've got to figure out, now in some of your tests, believe it or not, uh, when I was scribbling, because I was in a hurry on some of them, and I said, well, I better take a look at this again. I said, no, you add these two things. A lot of you got like eight out of 10 points on it because you found what the two B fields would be by these two wires. You just forgot to subtract them. So you lost two points from for forgetting to subtract them is all that you did. Okay, but anyway, to find the B field here, again, we've got that right-hand rule number two gives us the B field. All right, so we go through number two, and on this one, oh, he's coming out at us. So for this wire, he's coming out at us. And for this wire, he's doing what? He's going in. So therefore, it looks like we're going to have to subtract the two B fields. And so you just come up with, this would be B1, this would be B2, B, and it doesn't matter because it just said the magnitude. So B1 is equal to mu naught I, since the current in the wires is the same, mu naught I, some of you were, some of you got really slick and did this. So you just said the B field is going to be mu naught I 1 over 20 minus 1 over 60. Yeah, that would work. That would work. That's kind of the, that's real shorthand. That's like, I know this stuff cold, or I teach this stuff. That's what we would do. But if you don't teach this stuff, you'd say, okay, B1 equals mu naught times 10 over 2 pi. And we'll call this wire 1 and this wire 2 uh, over uh, 0.2. A lot of you, a lot of you, a lot of you. Now, uh, this is for your MCAT dat oat. Anybody know what the oat is? Optometry. <laughs> oat. So MCAT dat oat. And then physical therapy. I don't think they have their own thing, but other stuff. Um, no, read the problem carefully so you know the units. Okay, when it says centimeters, work change it to meters, all right? We're having a heck of a time with that on this test and with other ones. And the area of a circle is pi r squared, not 2 pi r. What's 2 pi r give me? Circumference, the circumference. Okay, all right, well, we'll get to that. So there, that's B1, and then B2 would be mu naught times 10 over 2 pi times 0.6. A lot of you tried to do, yes? For this wire. No, no, they were 40 apart from each other. The two wires were 40 apart. And so there's a point that's 20. Okay, so if I pick this point, dead center, then it's 20 from both of them, not just 20 and the 60. That's why I went ahead and drew that one when you were taking it. It was this point over here. So we're trying to find it for this guy. That's 20 centimeters. And then this guy, that's 60. There you go. It's a geometry thing. No, oh, no, 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 it's just one. Okay, what device converts mechanical energy into electrical en energy? No, not an alternator. A generator. An alternator turns it from DC to AC, I think, is actually what it does. Okay, now for the next one. Oh, boy. All right, a 22 amp current flows into a parallel combination of 4, 6, and 12. So we've got this thing. What, you ha what did you have to do here? You had to figure out what the voltage was. And then V equals IR for each of them. So it was, a, it was kind of a deep problem here because you had it this yeah this what's that this is one where you got the three resistors in parallel and you had to figure out the amperage that's going through them good question okay so let's just do this let's just say this is 12 this is 6 and this is 4 
All right, now, this is V. They didn't give you the voltage. However, what would be the voltage? Let's, we can figure out what the voltage is because what we're going to do is we're going to say, all right, V equals I. Oh, did they give us the voltage? No. Uh, they us the oh, oh, yeah, they gave us the current. Thank you. I knew there was a way to. Okay, so V equals I times R parallel. Now, what a lot of you did wrong. And I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. You went, oh, it's 1 over, R, 1 over RP, but you didn't say 1 over RP. You just said RP equals 1 over 12 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 4. And so what did you do when you figured all that out? Forgot to flip it. Forgot to flip it. And so RP actually equals 2. So the overall resistance was 2 ohms. And so therefore, V equals 22 times 2, which is equal to 44 volts. So, since this is 44 volts, what's the voltage here? What, what would the voltage be here? 11. Ah, no, what's the voltage here? Oh, four. 44. It's 44 all the way up. So, so, and we also know that V equals IR for the 12. And so then it just becomes 44 divided by 12 is one, 44 divided by 6 is the other one, 44 divided by 2 is the other one. Okay? All right. Because this is what RP is. All right. Okay, now. Um, oh! Okay, now, everybody else, the other favorite problem that was on here is one with the uh, circuit drawing. So find your one with the circuit drawing, and you've got to find the equations. Some of you did very well on this. Some of you, some of you went, did like I did, that passed my um, comprehensive exam at the PhD level for physics. When in doubt, write sloppy. But anyway, <laughs> so, I can tell you're in doubt. All right. Okay. Now. All right. And so, if and if I can't read it, you know, I I I I, uh, I go ooh, I can't because some of you were. All right. Anyway, here's what the drawing looks like. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It'll it'll just take a second. All right. I I do want to make sure. Probably, no matter what happens, I'd like to stop here and then go to those four problems I assigned you so you can at least see them because there's a time limit on it. Once you open it, remember, you got two hours to finish it, but it's not due till Friday. It's not due till I knew, I knew the voice person was going to say, when is it? Because they... Yeah, it's like 1.24 p.m. Totally, I just assigned, just, I just hit whenever. And that's, there's no method to the madness, really. All right, so. All right, now, this was V1, this is V2, this is R1. Okay, so we're going to have I1 going through here. Um, this is V3. Notice this is the drop plus right here, and this is drop plus going that way. Uh, so it's going to kick up, then it's going to get lose, lose. I something was going down that way, and it didn't tell us. That's when they were evil. Because they said this is R5, and they had I2 going up like this. All right, so. Just by looking, so now, what they meant was we had to find, oh, sorry, this is R2, uh, R3, is this R3? I don't have my glasses on, and this is R5, 4, yeah, because they got R5 over there. Okay, now then, now then, now then, now then, here's what happened, here's what happened. Okay, you had to find loop, the, the left-hand loop and the right-hand loop. Okay, so gains equals drop. So you got that. You got you got that far. You went okay. So V1 is going to equal. That's going to be my gain. That's the one that's kicking up. 
V1 is going to equal R1 times R1 times R1. Now, some of you are just putting R1 plus R I1 plus R1. No, 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 no. It's got to be a voltage. Remember, it's I times R. Not just adding them all, not just adding up everything you see. Oh, then we run into a problem here. We've got I, this unknown I right here, this I3, and it said, it said you had to use I1 and I2. Well, what does I3 equal according to our little junction thing? By the way, we'll just cover the junction problem right now. When it's got a junction, got I1 going in, I2 going in, I3 coming out. So I3 equals I1 plus I2. So it'd be I1 plus I2. And some of you, if you put, if you just kind of went, well, I'm just going to say I1 this time. And then on the other one, you said, I'm just going to say I2. Um, I gave you, I just took one off for each, each of your equations. So you got 8 out of 10. So you're doing good. R4, because this was kind of cheesy. I mean, that's kind of one of those, let's separate the 8 out of 10s from the 10 out of 10s is basically what that's doing. Um, plus I2 times uh, R5. Okay? And then V2, it's going around. So we're going to jump up this way. So this will be a drop. This will be a drop. And this will be a drop, just like we have it there. Okay? And so we got I2 times R5 plus I2 times R2 plus I3, which is I1 plus I2 times R4 again. Ta-da! There you go. I know. It seems easy now. Yes? How are those not negative? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I could bring them all over here, minus, 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 minus equals zero. But that's not the way I do them. I say gains equals drops. That's the way I, so you can actually work the problem. Okay. By the way, vidiots. Okay. I'm going to, since, since my, my live group got good hints, vidiots. You're not going to get this problem. You're actually going to have to solve I. So know how to do this. Okay. But you have you actually have 15, like, short answer and four problems. And this is one of them. But you actually have to solve for what the eyes are. So knock yourselves out. Have fun. Okay. Get this far, you got 8 out of 10. If you get the equations, you get 8 out of 10. All right. Now. Okay. Another one, consider a magnetic field. All right. Some of you missed. On the one where it says consider a magnetic field, you had something going like this. You had these choices like this. What's that? Oh, it should be down here. Yeah, you're right. Uh, 1, 2, R1 times R3 plus, what did I say? I2 plus, oh uh, yeah, R1 plus R3 is right here. There we go. Whew, sorry. All right. Now, in this problem, it says consider magnetic field pointing out of this page. So the magnetic field's going straight up. Got an electron. Electron. Magnetic field's coming straight up. All right? It's coming straight out at us. Okay? So the magnetic field's going this way. The velocity's going that way. A lot of you went down. Now, what would down be? What kind of particle would that be? That'd be a proton or an ion, not an electron. Electron's going to go up. Okay? He's going to curve... Uh, Upward. So you put uh, continue straight ahead. You got confused. There's not an electric field there keeping him in line. Okay. All right. Oh boy. I'd say if I was a betting man, I'd say okay. And the expected my expected results. If I bet a dollar on each one of you, what we're going to do now is your you all's favorite problem. This one. Okay, this guy. All right. Now, if I was a betting man, I'd say, okay, I bet a dollar. They're all going to miss it. And I, and out of 120 of you that took it, I'd probably get 90, have to get 90 dollars and pay out 30, because not very many people got this one. So that would tell you, ah, it's a tricky bullshit question. Okay, but anyway, we're going to leave it in there because you get extra points anyway. So now, because I want you to know this. Now, you had to read the problem carefully. You got the current coming through here. So 
if we grab this guy, which way is the B field coming due to this current? That's the first thing you should do. It's coming out at you, right? Because you just grab it like you would a bicycle tire, have your thumb in the direction of the current. So the B field is uniform coming out this way. All right, it's coming out at you. Nice uniform B field. However, they said, so, since it's coming out at now, they said, oh, by the way, this current's decreasing. It's getting weaker. It's going down. So my B field is doing what? It's getting less. So what's the induced current in this guy going to do? Yeah, he's going to try and help him. So he's going to go counterclockwise. A lot of you, I know what it was, was you, you, had, um, you had test fatigue. And you got to that and you're going, out of hell with it. I'll just guess. And you moved on. You guessed wrong. <laughs> you go, if it's going one way, I'll just guess it's going the other way. And because I'm tired of this, I'm pissed off and I'm just going to turn it in. Hopefully I guessed right. I could tell. It was, it was, definitely, it was definitely test fatigue had set in by that point. I'm glad this isn't being filmed. Oh, it is. Oh, well. All right, now. Okay. So that one would be counter, it would be actually trying to help it. Some of you saw that, and that was great. Some of you didn't. Some of you were like, I have no idea what it's asking. I'm just going to guess and move on. All right, now. All right, find, okay, the next one was find the total flux. A lot of you mess this up. Uh, this is the one where you got a circular coil of a certain diameter. Got a coil of a certain diameter, and um, what's going on is you had to find the total flux in the field. It's perpendicular to the coil of the plane. Some of you got tricked by that, and you put down zero. I didn't take all off for that because I knew you were thinking. But remember, when it says it's perpendicular, we measure the angle. All right, so we got this perpendicular board here. Okay, now, if the magnetic field is going parallel to the board, that's one thing. But the magnetic field is now perpendicular to this, and this is where we measure the angle. Okay? So, so if, the, so if it's perpendicular, so this is the way we measure the angle. So this is at a maximum. All right, so keep that. Always know that. And it's in BA is equal to the flux. Well, BA times the cosine of the thing times the number of, times the number of loops. So, and some of you... Uh, I got quite a few people, a lot, I'd say over half, didn't use the units right. You put like 20 centimeters in there instead of 0.2 meters. And we also use 2 pi r for the area of the circle. No, it's pi r squared. Remember, it's pi r squared. Okay. And so that one was just NAB. And then um, if the coil is rotated, then you divide it by, oh, that's the other problem we had too. And this is partly my fault. I should, but I don't want to ratchet up your anxiety, but I should point these things out before we pass out the test. What does this stand for? Milliseconds. Now, I know under, under arduous test conditions, you're going, you just see 11 seconds. I mean, that's just the way your brain works. It's milliseconds. It's going really quick. All right. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so we'll, we'll go to the thing here. Okay, Kirchhoff's theorem, that's okay. Um, long parallel wires, okay. This, that, yeah, problem number nine is so much like the first one that we did. Or the, my, we got long parallel wires going in opposite direction, and you had to find the force per unit length. We did a homework problem like that. Because remember, if you, got, if you got two wires like this, the magnetic field caused by this one is going down. The magnetic field caused by this one is also going down. It's going in, or going, not down, going into the board, into the board. And whatever distance D that they're separated from, that field equals, or the B field is equal to mu naught I over 2 pi D. And then the force that they feel per unit length is equal to IB. Okay. All right. Let's go. Out. Now, I think the rest of them are pretty. Oh, no, 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 no. One more. I, I want to do one more. Then I'll show you the mastering physics thing, your, your little thing is due. All right. This capacitor problem. 
And I felt bad because some of you went into the hole, you kind of somewhere out of some, out, out of way out of your deep dark past, you came up with the Q equals VC um, formula. That's not what this was doing. And, and now don't be shy, but how many of you got 2.3 seconds on this one? This is on your capacitor problem. How you got 2.3 seconds? That's wrong because it's discharging. You got me, you told me how long it would take to charge up to that, okay, if you, if you got 2.3. Here was the deal. Capacitor equals 2.0 times 10 to the negative 6 farads. The resistance is 4.0 times 10 to the 6 ohms. And we had to find out um, V0 is equal to 12 volts. And V is equal to 3 volts. Um, how long would this thing take if it was fully charged at 12 volts, got fully charged up by a 12 volt battery, how long would it take for this thing to discharge down to 3 volts? Here is the, here's what it should look like. 3 equals 12 times E to the minus T over RC. Okay? Not this one. This is for what? What is this one doing? This is charging. This is discharging. Okay? That was the difference. And if you do and if you actually do this one, you wind up with eleven seconds. This one's two point three. I think the most anybody lost if you if you did this, I just I think I just took two and went, ah. Oh please. No. <laughs> yeah. No, I know you were. Uh, some of you might have gotten three or something like that, but all in all it's it, it'll work out. But anyway, remember that's discharging. The other one's charging. Okay, now let's take a look at. Let's go ahead and look at those four problems, so you know what to expect when you go to open it, because you only have two hours now. Remember, you have two hours once you open it. But I picked problems that all said like five or six minutes to do. So the book says it should take you thirty minutes. I gave you two hours. All right. So hold on a second. So we're, we're done reviewing for the test. All in all, you got to remember this. Uh, and then I was also looking at it going, wow, I, uh, we kind of flew through this material too. So, so and you, you'll be glad to know I gave this test to um, my good friend, uh, Dr. Stoddard, had her take a good look at it. And she's going, wow, she's trying to kill him? And I went, oh, sorry. Then I told her some of the other things we're doing to kind of alleviate. She goes, okay, well, that's fair then. So I should have given it to her before I handed it to you all instead of after. But anyway, I didn't. No, no, you already got, you already got 30. Come on now. Come on. You gotta, you gotta, part, of, part of college is suffering. Okay. Okay. Let me get to Mastering Physics, your favorite web page here real quick. And this is also for the, uh, make sure we, we're running this, because this is for my uh, vidiots too. You guys will have it. It's just not available to you till Wednesday or something like that. Because I wanted you to take the test first. And I also didn't want to tell you all about it, because I didn't want you to go, God, what kind of test is it? Well, it's a hard one. Yeah, okay. yeah, but it's not available to you till after you do your test on Thursday. Okay, so so you guys are getting a good. All right, let's go to courses. Let's go to you all. Spring semester two twenty A. I, I guess this is probably the wrong time. Okay, exam two redo is like oh. All right, remember let's do it one twenty four. All right, start now. I don't care. You can run it on me. All right, Kirchhoff's rules and applying them. Ooh, that one problem we did. Kirchhoff's rules. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Difficulty two, they're going to tell you it takes 10 minutes to do. In other words, you read it through carefully, and you get to use the hints, and I'm not penalizing you for using the hints and stuff like that. Um, here it says the junction rule, the junction rule, apply the junction rule to find the current going through there and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a nice little problem for you. 
What's that? What's that? Go ahead and answer it. Oh, no, no. I, my clock's running. I've only got 40 minutes or hour 59 left. Okay. Oh, here we go. A series RC circuit with C equals 34 microfarads. Of course, you're going to be, you know, this is kind of a jammy exam. You're going to be sitting in the comfort of your home drinking a cold beer and, go, I mean, a hot chocolate and going, okay. Oh, after the switch has been closed for what's the charge on the capacitor? So you are, the, the, I was harking back to some of you who remembered in your deep dark past that Q equals VC. Okay, so you can figure out what the voltage is and all that. So what you're going to have to do on this one is they give you 4 tau. Now, now 4 tau means um, the 4 times the tau. What's tau? These two guys multiplied together. Okay. Yeah, tau is RC. Remember that. And then you can, oh, this one doesn't have hints. I'm evil. Don't have hints. But you can, you can figure it out from there. All right, now. Okay. Oh, my gosh. A rail gun. Oh, use the hints, please. Oh, my. Oops. He went crazy. All right. Okay, now. Here's what's, here's what's going to go on. Here's what's going to happen here. All right, find the coefficient of static friction between the rod and the rails. Okay, in other words, all right, you're going to create F equals ILB, right? You're going to create, there's going to be a current that's going to go through this guy. All right, it's going to be a current that goes through it. All right, and the current is going perpendicular. Electric field's going up, current's going this way. All right, so, um, no, current's going to be, oh, no, here's the positive. Current's going the other way. So like field's going up, current's going this way, so force is going which way? Foom. F equals ILB. Remember that. F equals ILB. And so that's going to be enough to move this guy. So F equals ILB, which also equals mu S times MG. So keep that in your mind. Mu S times MG. Okay. What you're looking for? Static friction. Coefficient of static friction. Okay. What's MG? <laughs> what? What's MG? You're going to have to go back to 210. That's what MG is. All right, now. Okay. All right. Last but not least. What's the area of the loop? Okay, here's good old, because a lot of you, and I know you know better, this is a nice little... Uh, difficulty one type thing just go through it because I know you all know better on how to find NAB type thing you all kind of blew it on the test a lot of you blew it on but I know you know how to do it so do it okay all right there you go okay good 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 not too bad not too bad all in all that test pretty much sucked but we got things that'll help you